For the final time, I say to you all, welcome to Super Meat World. Alongside with Diabetes. Hi. How are you doing? Very good. Oh. Yeah. I was, I was just looking for Max Jumper just in order to see if the chapter selector or something was working. And surprise, it did not. It's so hard that no one recommends it. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Don't so, play this. Yeah. We're gonna play Max Jumper as part of the final update of my Super Meat World series. This is the second half of the Jumper Return series, which were devised by Ryoko TK. And this chapter is pretty much an open invitation to torture yourself with the hardest levels that you'll ever play in Super Meat World. Oh my god, what am I looking at? Yeah, that's the first level. Don't you think that this is a pretty good suitable introduction just in order to haze the player into the chapter? So this isn't the whole world, this is just the first level? Yeah, this is the first level of the fourth world. Basically, there are three more chapters that we're gonna have to play through and well. Chapter 3 was the sewers, and in Chapter 4 you have the toxic sewers. <laughs> Good variety galore. Yeah, you always need a missile launcher in your sewers. Yeah, basically because you never know what kind of threat that you'll have into your sewers. I mean, you might mm -hmm. have just these random square dudes with really random eyes and mouth which are not aligned properly. So you need to have them killed at all costs! Die, you son of a bitch! Holy oh, shit, got that on your second try. Yeah, this level is easy compared to most of the levels into the chapter, and in fact this is one of the rare levels of the chapter in which rocket launchers are not too dickish. In fact, for the most part, it's not as annoying with the rocket launchers, but the bad news is, it's more annoying with everything else. <sighs> so, I guess, so I guess it's a good trade-off in the end. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you have to train before you did this? Uh, well, I don't really know. I was just like, okay. Did you play I'm Super Meat Boy with Mr. Miyagi? How'd you do this? <laughs> I made it with Billy MC in the end. Oh. So, yeah, into this one level, we're gonna have, uh, well, more bullshit. I don't really know what it is. Is the custom soundtrack what was going through your mind when you were playing this? Yeah, pretty much. This entire chapter is all about doom, despair, and the absolute collapse of society and your entire psyche as you're just thinking, uh, do I really have to do this? Incidentally, that's the tagline for Super Meat World. Yeah. <laughs> do I have to do, do this? Do I have to do this? I don't know. Or maybe it's the one for Super Meat World, because at least the original game gives you, well, a sense of reward by bending the levels, but that unless you're pretty much masochistic like me, there's not a whole lot of joy. And in fact, this is one of the worst levels of in the chapter because this is where rocket launchers become a dick. Are you gonna need a therapist because of Rio TK or whatever the hell his name is? <laughs> yeah, as slow oh my god. Was, as slow said it into the Minneapolis video, the Rain Man of Let's Play. I don't know, I just found that this appellation just was really soothing for some reason. He put so much into the difficulty of the level, but then he has Tiny Bandage Girl at the end of it. What's up with that? Yeah, basically, well, you always needed into the level editor to size down Bandage Girl because otherwise she was way too big. If you let her add the default settings for the size of her, but the thing is, in the 8-bit uh, tile set and all of this, it makes it so that Bandage Girl is already smaller, but whenever you're designing levels in the 8-bit, you're not aware of that at all, so there's a whole lot of levels where Bandage Girl is way too small and usually is off the ground. Hmm. So you can make <laughs> giant missile launchers if you want, but you can't fix your you know, goal at the end, come on. No, absolutely oh. no way in hell. That's a lot of jumpers. <laughs> That's a lot of Ongmo, and we're gonna see plenty more of them. But this was one of the really poorest levels of the, of the chapter. At least the rest is not as unbearable than this. What Usually, the fuck? Yeah, this whole jump right here is pretty much pixel perfect. <sighs> yeah, not only you have to do this really careful curve around all of this, but you also need to catch up on the wall and jump as soon as you get there before you fall on the spikes and everything that it entices. Are you the deep blue version of a Super Meat Boy player? I do not know what you're talking about. Oh, Jesus. Now starting level I7, floor B1. Floor by? 
No, uh, floor B1. Unfortunately, the font which is used for Super Meat Boy really doesn't differentiate uh, numbers all that well. Clearly, this is a basement. Yeah. This is where Ryoko lives. <laughs> no one's breaking into my house. Not with my level design skills. <laughs> yeah, this is what he, he's pretty much gonna do just in order to make it so that nobody gets in. Just had some lasers that just go off for a really, really short amount of time and hey, just have a rocket launcher that shoots a million of rockets. Yeah. I don't trust that Mitchell missile launcher. I want it always moving. <laughs> yeah, it has to cover everything. Yeah, I want to see it all. Where are you, Ugmo? I just want to say hi to you. <laughs> So here we go. <laughs> Lobbyists? Yeah, I've really Time to make my political statement in Super Meat World. And it's a gigantic ass tower with saw blades and lasers. But with that said, I kinda like this episode mainly because, well, the title of the episode is kinda aptly fitting because here, chapter 5 now changes things actually by making it so that, well, you're into a tower and as you progress through the chapter, you see that the vaults become smaller and smaller. They get much less, uh, they get much more narrower because, well, you see the whole sides becoming more narrow and all of this, but yeah, that's pretty much it, but... This is pretty much where the chapter pretty much becomes in the realm of, okay, this chapter is pretty much impossible. Wonderful. You gotta make yeah. the nar levels more narrow to impede your max jumping ability. Yeah, but this is pretty much what this entire chapter does from square one. Oh, and it's also fun to die pretty much at the beginning of the level, unless you know that this whole thing is incoming. Ooh. God, this is just silly. <laughs> Aren't you glad to see this whole chapter? I mean, this is such a good, uh, a good tribute to the entire world of Super Meat Boy. It's a tribute to suicide? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Why would anyone play this? Uh, I don't know. I, I swear it's fun, really. <laughs> Did Rio TK, Rio TK play Battletoads and was like, "Nah, let me show you what this is all about." Yeah, in fact, he said himself that this whole chapter was, like, comparable to the kid's warp zone in terms of difficulty, but I just don't agree. This is way hard. The kid's warp zone had three levels. Yeah, it had three levels, and even then, people took something like two or three hours to beat it. So, yeah. What Let's happens when you make 20 six. levels? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just add 20 levels. It, I'm sure everything will go fine. But, yeah, my main interrogation with, with this whole chapter is who the hell this chapter is is dedicated to because I'm not I'm just not sure who would really go out of their way to play this and just say, hey, I'm really enjoying myself playing that. <laughs> Ooh, I took some vacation time and played some Max Jumper. Ooh, that was a stress relief. <laughs> yeah, I'm still gonna do that in order to evacuate all of my stress. <laughs> what fun. Yeah, what fun! Let's just have all of these narrow jumps in which, well, if you jump too high, you collide on the spike, if you let it go, you fall on the laser, but, uh, this is not hard enough. Let's have this random saw blade shooter in the middle of it all. So did he just lose his mind when he was coming up the level names Waffle Iron? <laughs> I well, mean, I, I own a Waffle Iron, and it does not look like this. Are you sure? It, it has lasers and some spikes, but not this much. I don't die every time I try to make waffles in the morning. Well, you should, because that's not how you do proper waffles! You're not doing waffles the max jumper way! Oh my god. Yeah, you better get ready to this. You better jump all around your kitchen dodging all of these lasers and making your your waffles go out of their toaster in order to scream them all over with your maple syrup. Yeah, I'm sorry. This whole chapter is making me lose my mind. <laughs> so to be clear, you are doing the challenge where you play this game with the keyboard, right? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna scrap this video. I'm gonna re-record this chapter. Hold on, I'll be right back. Uh, no, I'll add some band-aids to the level. <laughs> yeah, because um, yeah, I'm not too sure where you could could you find the bandages in all these levels because I'm not too sure what kind of thing you will make in order to make these levels even harder. So, so this is the halfway point, right? Yeah, we're halfway done with this chapter. So 
I'm just wondering how will things manage to get even harder? You seem to be moving progressively upwards? Yeah. We're into the tower and things are banging are beginning to be a whole lot smaller, but it's not gonna be any easier for sure because once again, rocket launchers are favorite into this chapter. Oh, I was not expecting that. Yeah. What a because, surprise. Yeah. I mean, this entire chapter is always unpredictable and filled with the most uh, intricate plot twist concerning the set of obstacles. <laughs> So yeah, right here. This is really easy to do, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you say, Psychedelic Eyeball. Yeah, because obviously this is a chapter which is easily manageable. Like, you know, maybe not, but at this point it's just like I really have nothing to say about this game anymore. <laughs> Whatever. I played through this chapter with Tofu Boy. Oh yeah, because that would be really fun. In fact, there are chapters which were made in order to be dedicated entirely to Tofu Boy. I considered playing them, but they're so boring and lifeless <laughs> that they're really not worth the trouble. Unlike this level, which just makes you want to kill yourself. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge improvement, right? You gave this three stars? Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I really don't know what is up with me and rating. I would have had a stroke by the time I finished this, I wouldn't have been able to rate it. Well, maybe this is the logical explanation. I was having a stroke while I was rating the levels, and this is why all of the levels have good scores. <laughs> <laughs> Three stars! Oh my god! Ah, oh my give god. me a doctor! Ah. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Yeah, this is pretty much an emulation of a kid level. But with Ogmo and, well, the Max Jumper difficulty! God, you're gonna hear his jump noise in your nightmares. <laughs> yeah. Boy, boy. In fact, I'm, I'm just wondering how the hell can this guy even be impassable about all that is happening to him? <laughs> oh, well, that was good. I'll just keep going, I go. Yeah, I'm gonna be having really good fun jumping up this tower with a million of spikes! In my mind, Ogmo sounds like Eeyore for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll go to the next level. Okay. Yeah. In fact, he probably sounds a whole lot more depressed than that. <laughs> okay. So here we go. We've reached the top of the tower. So that means we're almost done with Max Jumper, right? Huh. I'm suspicious about that claim. Oh, but come on. There cannot be anything more than that. I mean, it's level 13, but... What else could there be after that? I'm pretty sure that it's the end after that. Ogmo in space is my guess. Oh, yeah. I guess we're gonna go to space right now in this giant elevator that goes to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but I'm surprised. This level is surprisingly easy compared to most of the levels into the chapter. Yeah, so I was gonna maybe... say, I feel like I could have done that. Yeah, but then this level happens. Oh, what? Yep, yeah, welcome to the final chapter of Jumper Returns. Fittingly enough, title Dreadnought. Cool. Yeah, we're into some sort of hell space flying airship base filled with pretty much the worst of your nightmares. Someone does not want Ogmo to get in the ship. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just in case that the 33 previous levels were not enough to get him away, well, okay, let's just make this instead, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be suitable enough to keep him out. <laughs> suitable enough to keep the employees out? Yeah, in fact, I'm not really sure who the hell will want to work here. <laughs> oh boy, so there's a spill on the ship. Somebody's gotta clean it up. Okay, so you just better dodge the laser at section 4798, and then finally, just make sure that you don't fall into the spikes into this one other place, right? Because uh, we will certainly don't want you to die. Uh, I mean, we will want you to be a good employee. Oh, and yeah. You did put double jump on your resume, right? You weren't lying? Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that I only have... Uh, one jump or something. Oh yeah, by the way, this one jump right here is Jesus. very fun because it's pixel perfect. You just jump pretty much high enough just to clear the spikes. Go, Ogmo. <laughs> oh. So yeah, that's pretty much the indication of the kind of difficulty that you'll have in the final chapter. And just to make matters even worse, all of these levels now have scrolling because what? Up until now, all of the levels fit only in one screen, so that so at least they were all pretty short, but these levels, for the most part, are a whole lot longer. Gonna yeah. have the end level levels. Yeah. 
And yeah, that deserved four stars all right, because <laughs> yeah, I I love this level. It wasn't perfect, but it was pretty fun. I really enjoy slitting my wrists. Are you in a psych ward right now? Psychedelic I'm Maybe. That's, that's... Or maybe I'm just rating them after the time that it took me in order to beat them, just thinking, holy shit, I actually did that really well. I'm just gonna rate that five. <laughs> oh my god, what? Yeah, we're just gonna have to use this fan which is pu which is pushing you straight into the saw blade and we pretty much have to get the right amount of momentum in order to get up there. Uh. Yeah, welcome to what pretty much everyone says while playing this chapter except people who probably put something like 250 hours into this game. <laughs> How many Aren't hours you? would you say you put in? Uh, probably that many. <laughs> So I guess there's a little bit of Rain Man of Super Meat Boy Hall Among Us. Dr. Wily could learn a thing or two about level design from this. <laughs> yeah, he would pretty much learn how to make it so that Mega Man will never be able to get anywhere. So that's how you do it. Yeah, that's how you do this. You just frustrate Wait. him to death. Yeah, <laughs> you just put impossible jumps pretty much everywhere and have the occasional lens flare in the middle of the sky. Okay, my eyes glazed over whatever you just did. Yeah, what? I have no clue how the fuck I only beat that level in only two tries. This is a tool-assisted run, isn't it? Ah, oh, I'm afraid you now know way too much, Mr. Beatus. Oh shit. So, welcome to what is probably the most fun level of the entire chapter. <laughs> Just in case that you couldn't guess. Wasn't having you... fun before. Oh yeah, of course, because up until now, this entire chapter was a laugh riot. <laughs> But yeah, just had in the fact that you have to do all of these really narrow jumps and had in a whole lot of waiting to. Wow, and Ogmo seems so chill about it. Yeah. Alright, I figured that I just stay here for a couple of hours. Okay. Oh, oh my what? It's not as if I had anything else to do today. Oh, and yeah, into this one part here, you have to go down here and use your <laughs> double jump to get to that key before the laser goes all the way down and kills you. And, well, there's a whole lot of thing to take into account, which obviously is marvelous. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm a computer, I can do that. Oh yeah, of course. So, are you ready in order to finally play Super Meat Boy? <laughs> Welcome to the forest stage! Oh yeah, World I'd one. like him to do an expert remix, like something like World 1-1 one, one, and make it so that there's like a million of lasers and three <laughs> rocket launchers which shoot at a triple speed or something. My question is, where is the expert remix of Max Jumper? Uh, this I'm is such sure a yawn fest. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that whoever made this chapter killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Rio TK design like 60% of the levels in Super Meat World? Uh, about that. At yeah. least the featured one. Mm. And about 90% of them are way too hard for pretty much everyone. <laughs> I mean, they were I like all these Ogmas on the screen. Yeah, I mean, I like some of his chapters. I mean, I like, like, uh, Yellowstone and Starlight because... Four stars! Have... <laughs> just, remem just remember, I'm rating this based on my state of mind. Based on, <laughs> holy shit, it went a whole lot better than I thought. It would be a terrible movie critic. <laughs> Oh, uh, making it through this movie really wasn't all that bad, so I'll give it four stars. Uh, I watched it through the end. Four out of five. <laughs> That's respectable. <laughs> that was the worst movie I've ever seen. Seven out of ten. Hey, this is World of Goo. Yeah. I just thought that for this one part of the game I needed to have something a little bit more inspiring just in order to lift myself up because at this point it's like, holy shit, I cannot make it through that any further. That's good timing because I slit the knife only halfway across my throat. Yeah. Oh, speaking of knife into the wound, here's Blood Bat. <laughs> They're just naming the levels based on how you'll get through them. Yeah. <laughs> You're pretty much going to make it through this entire level by pretty much slitting yourself up to the point that your entire room will be filled with blood. Is level 20 just called suicide? <laughs> well, uh, according, uh, appropriately, something like that. Oh, and yeah, by the way, how the fuck did I beat that on my first try? <laughs> That's why you gave it five stars, I guess. Yeah, I was like, holy fucking shit, how did I do that? I cannot believe it. Yeah, it's swan song, so in some way it's appropriate for suicide. <laughs> oh. 
How and inspiring. Oh yeah, of course. Because this is pretty much where you're going. In fact, whenever you're finishing this chapter, you're just going into the middle of nowhere on a dead machine that flies into the sky with those angry saw blades everywhere and the huge lasers. And once again, this is another level that takes really long. And you can be sure that they kept the worst part of the level last. No, oh, good level design for this game. Oh yeah, because yeah, this is what I really Ugh. hate about this chapter for the most part. Often the hardest section will be at the at the end. Oh, I would have gotten mad if you got that on your first try. Yeah, me too. I pretty much would have thrown the controller away and be like, I'm a genius of Super Eat Boy. <laughs> I am become Ogmo. Oh yeah, or I am become real. Uh, no, I cannot even say. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. <laughs> I mean, you've done the next best thing, you made one of these levels yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do the sequel to Max Jumper, which will be called Maxer Jumper. Mm. But I'm not too sure how I could make these levels any better. <laughs> better? Uh... Well... Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'll just ask Billy MC to, to design the chapter for me. No. <laughs> I'm not sure it will be good, but at least I'll have fun playing through it. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because this entire part is really infuriating. Oh you have to do this really tricky jump through the saw blade, and then you have to hug the wall in order to get your jump back, and you have to do another really precise jump. Yeah, you beat level 19 on your first try, you can't do this. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, I was like, oh, come on, I'm done, I'm done. But at this point, you're pretty much just also like, I cannot do this anymore, no! Oh, you're pretty talented if you can play this at 20 times speed. <laughs> yeah. At this point, it's pretty much like your high or brain just become entirely unwired and unsnap itself. <laughs> so here we go. It's about time that we brought it into this thing. It's now 2014. Yeah, and it's 2014, civilization has collapsed as we know it, the American dollar is no more worth than 50, 50 dollars American, no, 50 cents, I mean. Mm -hmm. There is no longer any European co coalition or whatever, the hero is no more, but there's one thing which happened. I beat Max Jumper. Ow! Five stars? Yeah, because I was oh, okay. like, holy shit, I'm finally done! I can't believe that I've made it through that! Because I was like, oh my god, ah! You had a brief moment of sanity and said, yeah, this is an average level. <laughs> yeah, because this is sane, right? I feel neutral about this level. I give that three. It only made me want to slightly kill myself, yeah. so you only deserve three. Yeah, I have no opinion. Three out of five. So here we go, we're finally done, and for some reason I really didn't expect to have only like 144 deaths. I mm. expected something like the double or the triple of it when I recorded this. Excellent job. So, in some way I almost consider this to be a success. <laughs> well, quote unquote success. For... you? I really don't know, so this is why I'm putting it in quotation, because <laughs> I don't think that you can succeed at anything if you've taken the time to do this. <laughs> don't play this chapter, folks. <laughs> I'm gonna rate your threat a three. <laughs> uh, not even a four. I have no opinion. Uh, good, good. I was slightly impressed. Nah, not overly impressed. I it's good. Nah. No, it's not like that. It's be like, oh, you've only slightly. No, I've really hated this thread. Three. <laughs> That's right. What yeah, a useless review. Yeah. <laughs> that was the most amazing thread I've ever seen. You did that run in like one try. That's what it. Two out of five. No, it's one out of five. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some benefit of the doubt. I guess not. Yeah, I really enjoyed this chapter zero. <laughs> I forgot to rate this. Four out of five. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right. Wow. So, so anyway, that's it for Max Jumper, and that'll be it for Super Meat Boy, and finally Super Meat World. Excellent job, my friend. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for taking the time to sit through this chapter and this horrible misery that you will never be able to remove from your mind. Thank you for showing me what I will never amount to and probably not want to either. You're a good uh, kid. Uh, <laughs> the kid.
Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and that was the story of how Ogmo prevailed against Dr. Fedus. Or is it against Ryoko TK? In fact, could it be Dr. Fedus? Who knows? So let's have a look at some stats in the meantime. Whenever I was looking for a featured chapter, the random chapters list didn't even work half of the time. So once again, why was it random? And finally, it only crashed five times. I'm surprised. So it's about time that we focus on the most important thing of the Let's Play. The number of deaths. Here are all of the chapters that I've played and which I've dedicated a full video to them. The grab bag chapters doesn't count because I never finished any one of them in their fullest and I never counted the deaths for them. If you see a number in parentheses in the number of deaths, that means the number of deaths that I will have theoretically have if the chapter was 20 levels long. It's just included for interest sake. As we're gonna watch the death tally go and go, some proper thank yous are in order in order to finally close this let's play. First of all, I'd like to thank Unpronounceable, Heswelden, Kifison Fire, Serifina, and Waga for having submitted fan videos for the thread in order to showcase all of these shortcut glitches and everything that I failed to show in my own video. All of your showing was really appreciated. Thank you to Minty for having submitted this fan art to the thread. Basically, the only way to play Super Meat Boy is with the Power Glove indeed. I'd like to thank every single person out there who took the time to make Super Meat World chapters. Even though it always wasn't all that obvious that I was liking the chapters, I really did have a pleasure playing all of the chapters that I showcased in the course of my Let's Play. Who knows if there'll ever be another level designing community for this game. But in the meantime, we're left with all of that to play. Thank you to Rockly Smile for having taken the time to make all of the chapters that he made for Super Meat Boy and also for commenting over them into the videos and also for commenting on my own chapter. And also, thank you for having made all of your own Super Meat World videos which also helped me decide which chapters I ended up playing and which one I'd skip and everything and for all other things like that to end the side. Thank you to Agent355 for coming up with the idea of doing Super Meat Boy races, and thank you to Smite for allowing the races to continue and come to their definite end, which will come pretty soon. I'll also thank Slowbeef, Diabetes, as well then Devo for taking the time to guess on all of these other Super Meat World videos. It was really nice having your perspective in order to shed some new light on all of the chapters that I ended up playing. I'd like to thank every single person on the Something Awful forums as well then YouTube in order to send me all of the feedback, comments and all of their messages concerning this LP. It was really good getting all of your appreciation and all of this. And therefore, here's to all of you who posted in the thread. Wugga, Manati Cannon, Clasius, Balobam, Ditto Cove, One Pixel Jumpman, Unpronounceable, Color Printer, Kefesen Fire, Suspicious Dish, Polk War Veteran, Vigilante Prime, Kefit, Zekir, Doctor Video Game 31, Smite, Nimby, Matarant, Admiral H. Curtis, Michael Krios, A Spooky Goose, Ultron HGX, Namajem, 100 Hugs Agree, Bruski, Sinastrin, Samurai Fuch, Miko, Serifina, NJ Sikora, Valgav, Syafas, Cross Contaminant, Citrarium, Tophil, Kaboom Dragoon, Black Frost, Pumping Lemma, Munin, Anime Reference, Jamie the D, Dr. Wet, Rears, Fred M. Sloniker, Paul Power, Gnome 7, Metro Xer, Francis York Paddy, Flesh Weasel, Tura Tome, Freezing Inferno, Safari Disco Lion, Volt Catfish, Smash Daisaku, Kaiser Mazoku, Vrikian, Viscuit, Two Pair, BFC, Shadow Ligger, Viluxil, Helen Hesuidity, Skip Things, Arctic 74, Tuddy Dot, The Modern American, Mech Dragon, Animator Z, Wolfholm, 
Pasteurized Milk, Clone Pickle, Heavy Neutrino, Jeebus Mahogany, Detective Thompson, Shin Dragon, Hammer Floyd, Declan McManus, Fruit Punch Samurai, Shabadoo, Mace, Axel Sore, Monkey Fracas, Hair is Lava, Monosynaptic, Balkis, The Real Cookie, Hazrin, Gotta Pay the Troll Toll, Heating Honey Apples, Static Pulse, Halky Deer, Skippy Granola, Deadbot, Yami no Senshi, Momomo, Spruce Zeus, ZLF Horora, and Miracon. And finally, everyone wouldn't appear on the Who Posted list. And at last, but not least, thank you to Wago for having undertaken the incredible task of beating Super Meat Boy without dying. Your videos documenting this absolutely insane task have been a joy to watch and it's been a huge contribution to my thread. And finally, by doing these videos, you've undertaken something that I never would have managed to pull off. At this point, this is not only my let's play, but it's your let's play as well. Because I would rather beat Max Jumper 3 times instead of trying to do what you've been doing into this. So here's to you. So I think that should cover all of the things for the Super Meat Boy Let's Play. Once again, thanks to every single one of you who watched this Let's Play, and I hope to see you again into another game and into another something else. So this was Psychedelic Eyeball, and I wish all of you goodbye. Or if you prefer, salut! <laughs>